Okay, so I'm going to show you here how to make an assembly. Now, if I open up my folder, you'll see I have all these parts here. I have a template for an autographic projection already done, but we'll do that in a minute. So as you can see, we have all these parts, but we have no assembly file. So we're going to start off here in SolidWorks. We're going to open a new, and we're going to open an assembly. And when we open the assembly straight away, I'll just move this to the side, straight away it says begin assembly and browse. Now the computer has automatically opened the folder. If it hadn't have opened the folder, you'd go browse and you'd find out exactly where all your stuff was saved. Um, very important that the first part you bring in is your largest, most impressive part. It's the part that's not going to move. Everything else can rotate around that. So I'm just going to go tap body. And as you can see, it moves all around the place. I'm going to click there. So once I've clicked, it will not move. The first part will not move again. So I'm going to bring in, I'm going to bring in a new part. So insert component, browse straight away. It's coming up, and I'm going to bring up the tap base. So just click here now. Now, as you can see, we can move this around. So we need to make a mate between these two. The picture of the mate is a paper clip. Paper clips put stuff together. So I'm going to click mate. I'm going to click the cylinder, and I'm going to click the cylinder. Now, what this does is it lines up both of these. Lovely. So that there is still moving, that's okay. If I click the bottom of my tap, the top of my base, it will make them together. I'm going to say yes and say yes. Now, what I haven't done yet, I haven't saved it. So I'm going to click here and go save as. And when I go save as, I'm going to save it as assembly, because it is an assembly. SolidWorks, capital SW, A, and then space. And I'm going to save it for what it is, a bathroom tap. So if you had something different, you'd save it as whatever it is, something that you're going to identify it straight away. That's ever been saved now. Lovely. So what we have here now is we have our two parts. We're going to keep inserting more parts. So insert components and straight away browse comes up. So what I'm going to bring up next is my tap handle. And as you can see, my tap handle is obviously going to line up up here. So I'm just going to go mate and going to click the cylinder and the cylinder here and say yes to that. Now, this is obviously still moving up and down. I'm happy with that. That's okay. Perfect. Insert components. Browse. I'm going to bring in this little screw that's here. So this little screw is going to go in here. So we're going to go mate. And click the cylinder. Click the cylinder. And say yes. And I'm going to click the top of this face. The bottom of this face. And say yes to this. Now, I've just noticed something. That's very flat there. I'd like a little fillish on it. So if I right click on that and I say open part, so right click on that and just open part, it will automatically open up the part for me. Now when I open up this part, I'm just going to go in here to fillish and I'm just going to put a tiny fillish on these eight edges. Now I want to have a full preview. Now, obviously, 10 mil is going to be ridiculous, so we'll try 1 mil and just see how that works out. No, we'll try 0.01. Yep, 0.01, so we can go a little bit bigger. 0.5. Lovely, and I'm going to say yes to that. Now, as you can see, the finish on that now looks a lot better than the sharp edges. So, X, save changes to screws, yes. Rebuild my assemblies, yes. And now that just comes in there, it just looks a little bit more impressive. So there's that part there. So I'm going to open up my folder now, see what other parts I have. I have a screw body that has to come in. I have a tap connector. I'm going to bring in my tap connector. So insert, browse, tap connector. So my tap connector is going to mate all of these parts together. So we're going to ins uh, mate them. Click the inside cylinder. Click the inside cylinder. We're going to say yes to that. Lovely. That goes up. Now, as you can see, that's going to sit right on that there. So we're going to go mate. And mate. And say yes. And now what we have is this is going to lock in place there for us. Lovely. Now, I'm going to go insert components. Browse straight away. And we need a screw body. Now, this is after coming in. This screw body comes up through the side. So we're going to mate this cylinder, sorry, mate and mate. Lovely. Now, this comes up through this, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to say 
and we open up this part here and you'll see that that's where the little first screw went see the screw that we had here that's where that would have went so we're going to mate this face to this face and say yes And now inside that we have our tap. So at the moment we have one, two, three, four, five, six parts. If we go into our folder, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven parts. So we're obviously miss missing the rubber washer. So what I'm going to do is go to insert components and go browse and bring in the rubber washer. Okay, so my rubber washer is in here now. As you can see, we have a slight problem. We can't see where it's going. So you'll notice I've put the rubber washer to the back. You'll see why now. I'm going to click on section view. Now it automatically had brought up that vertical plane for me, which is handy. And I'm going to move my arrow. And when I move my arrow, I'm just going to roughly put it in the middle and say yes to that. Now that's allowing me to see in the middle in here. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go mate. And I'm going to mate this cylinder with this cylinder and say yes to that and now as you can see it's after coming up so we're just going to pull it down and I'm going to make this top with this bottom and now that's given us our washer in place and say yes to that so now we have our washer in place as well very happy with that so I'm just going to click off the section and this is it done I'm going to press save now which is very important and press save all now when I open up my folder, I open up my folder now we have a assembly SWA bathroom tap. We have all our parts, okay? Now very important. This is a step that you must do. Go file, save as, and when you go save as, it's automatically saving as an assembly. Click on your assembly and find e-drawings. Okay, so open your e-drawings and just press save. Now as we've talked about before, an e-drawing is a part which can be opened on a computer that does not have SOLIDWORKS. You can't perform any um, actions on it, but it is there. So when we look at our folder here now, you'll see we have our e-drawing. We're going to open up our e-drawing just to see what it looks like. So as you can see, e-drawing pro, it's a different view. And as I can see, I can move it around and I can view it. But that's all I can do. I cannot do anything else to it. The reason we have that, as I said, is we can send it to other people who have, who want to see the file, but do not have the SolidWorks program. So there's our e-drawing. So now we have an e-drawing, an assembly, and our several parts.